Hello there, we are representing two companies that we are a part of that are looking to receive the $4 billion that the government is offering to invest in clean renewable energy. Our companies will be using both the sun and the wind as our energy sources. The main way that light from the sun is converted into electricity is called the vo photovoltaic effect. Basically, the sunlight shines down on what is called a solar cell. These solar cells are made out of silicon, which is a common semiconductor. Depending on the efficiency of the solar cells, a certain amount of photons from the light is absorbed into the semiconductor, which excites the electrons and enables them to flow through the current. Wind energy is possible via wind turbines that convert the kinetic energy from wind into mechanical power. This kinetic energy is collected by the airfoil-shaped blades on the turbine. The flow of wind causes them to come to life and therefore causes the turbine to turn. When this happens, the drive shaft that is connected to the blades turns on the generator and voila, energy is produced. The only natural resources needed for the sun is the photons that are in the sunlight. For wind, both the sun and atmospheric pressure are natural resources that are needed. In terms of the availability of our energy sources, the sun shines on the entire earth. However, there are places where the sun shines with more intensity, such as the equator. Same goes for wind. Wind is available all over the world, but differs depending on your geographical location. The sun is the most viable candidate for the government's money because it requires very little maintenance. It only requires that they be cleaned so that the maximum amount of sunlight is absorbed. Wind is also a very viable candidate because it is a clean form of energy, it works 98% of the time, and it's a renewable energy source. Wind turbines and solar energy do not give off any pollutants or carbon emissions and do not affect the climate in any way. Solar energy uses fewer resources than a lot of other potential energy sources. However, because of this high energy to melt the silicon to use as a semiconductor, it can be expensive, depending also upon the efficiency of the solar cell, which can range anywhere from $10 to $10,000 for one square foot. The price of wind turbines depends on the size of the wind turbine bought, so they range from a couple thousand to a couple million dollars. The use of the sun to provide solar energy is distinguished above the rest of the alternative energies because of its potential. What I mean by that is that when we find a way to create more efficient solar cells without raising the cost, and an alternative less expensive semiconductor is discovered, solar energy can completely replace home energy consumption. What distinguishes wind is that it relies on the sun, which means that until the sun dies, the wind will always be in supply, unlike coal, oil, or other things. The companies that we represent would invest the money that the government will grant us in creating more efficient solar cells. The average solar cell is only about 15% effective and therefore needs to increase its effectiveness without raising the cost. Our companies will also invest the money in planting more wind turbines. It is initially expensive to plant them, but once done, the benefits are enormous. By 2035, will we be able to contribute largely to the country's clean energy? The main issue keeping our companies from getting there now is getting the money to plant more wind turbine farms and build more solar farms. There are no negative outcomes on the environment. The sun and wind are both clean and reusable energy, neither of which will run out in the next several billion years.